Hi there, this is a GCSE PE revision video on the topic of redistribution of blood. And as always, we're using the AQA GCSE PE specification. So redistribution of blood is an area that students can find tricky, but hopefully we can simplify it today. Um, there are a couple of mechanisms that you must understand. So when we use the word dilate, so vasodilation, typically that will refer to as widening. You often hear that term when we talk about the, the eyes, the pupils dilating uh, or getting bigger and widening. There's also vasoconstriction. The word constrict means to reduce, to get smaller. So that's our memory tool. OK, constrict and dilate. So what happens in the body? This is called the vascular shunt mechanism. When we are exercising, there will be an increase in blood flow to the active areas, in this case, skeletal muscle. So in that case, what we will have is in these arteries, there will be a widening of the lumen, the central part of our artery to enable an increase in blood flow to the areas of the body that need it, in this case, the active working muscles. At the same time, there will be vasoconstriction, a reduction in the size of the lumen in the arteries to the areas which don't require it as much. Often the vital organs such as the digestive system. So our normal lumen, our normal cross section is as so in the diagram on the left. As you can see, when we constrict the lumen gets smaller, when we dilate it gets much larger. So this is how it might look in an answer. Uh, or an exam question. You can see here that we've got the redistribution of blood is our topic area. I'm going to underline that already. Uh, during rest and maximal exercise, explain why redistribution of blood during exercise is necessary. Two marks here. Uh, the AO2 is the application within exercise already. So we've already got our AO2 content, which means we need to give two points as if we are kind of identifying. So one mark is going to be that active working muscles require more oxygen or more nutrients. And at the same time, the second mark is going to be that less blood is needed to the vital organs, such as the digestive system, for example. Let's look at the mark scheme. So active muscles require more nutrients or oxygen. And at the same time, less blood is going to be distributed to other organs which don't need as much blood flow. Here, another question then. Explain why uh, explain sorry two ways in which the body redistributes blood redistributes blood during exercise so you can see that here there's two parts to it ao2 is typically um explain as a keyword or explain as an ao2 keyword so here we're going to have to provide an ao1 identify factual piece of information and then an ao2 which then provides that application times two and it's divided the work already so we know how it's going to look vasoconstriction being one part vasodilation the other part and again it's going to talk about how blood is distributed around the body so vasoconstriction being our one mark so we'd need to write for example vasoconstriction and then go on to explain it and then vasodilation and go on to explain it so that they know which part you're talking about vasoconstriction means that we're not supplying blood to areas of the body that don't need it. So there's a reduction in blood flow to vital organs like the digestive system. At the same time, through the vascular shunt mechanism, there's vasodilation. And that's where we send more blood to areas of the body that will need it through a widening of the lumen uh, so that we've got an increase in blood flow. And therefore, there's more nutrients and oxygen to those areas that do need it. So to summarise this topic area, um, some arteries will narrow vasoconstriction, while others will often dilate and questions will often refer to at the onset of exercise or when you're exercising, what will happen with regards to the redistribution of blood. A wider lumen increases the blood flow, which means more oxygenated blood can travel to the areas that need it. Vasoconstriction, of course, will then reduce the size or you know, reduce the size of the lumen so that there's not as much blood going to the areas that now don't need it, like the vital organs. During exercise, the cardiovascular system redistributes blood, and that's to make sure that we're supplying oxygenated blood to where it's needed, but we're restricting blood flow to areas which don't need it as much.